Welcome back to Gunny TV and today this is not just a typical review over a gun. We're talking about the Mossberg 500 here, but we're also talking about different ammunition for your shotgun. There were some things I've seen over and over in different kind of videos showing the differences between bird shots, box shots, slugs. There's a ton of different types of ammunition for shotgun this is a 12, uh, is a 12 gauge a regular 12 gauge i still wanted to do a little video about it even though maybe videos like this exist already i wanted to show you how the different types of ammunition work on different distances um, and show you how precise can we be on the target and how does the spread work on different distances so i'm trying to do that on 15 25 and 50 yards so that makes it a little more realistic i don't know where we're gonna get with uh, the bird shot on 50 yards i don't know if i should do this because the spread would be a little higher and maybe not really effective but i try my best to show you the differences and maybe talk a lot about what is good for your home defense situation, what kind of ammunition you should use, or maybe give you an idea what you want to use at your property. I had a few nice comments on the last video over that AR-15 home defense situation. Depending on your property, on where you live, you need a different setup. You need a different kind of gun. A shotgun might not do the trick. A pistol might not do the trick. Maybe an AR won't do the trick. It doesn't matter. There's like no perfect gun for that, for all these different scenarios. What I've learned in my 13 years of military is every situation needs another setup. I think that might apply to a lot of things. I think many units in this world rely on that concept where do we have to go in how far are uh, the targets away what's the distances what kind of ammo do we use all that it always comes down to the same thing you have to think about your situation i'm not doing videos and telling you this is the way to do it no that's not how it works in the real life i'm just showing you the differences for you to not go out and waste money because that's what I'm doing for you. Get some different types of ammo, put it in there and shoot it for you. So you see, is it really worth? This is a regular Mossberg 500. 28 inches is the barrel. So that's a long barrel, a cheap and reliable rifle, shotgun for whatever you need it for. Truck gun, hunting or home defense. But maybe for home defense, the barrel is already too long. Do you really need a long barrel to get the velocity out of your ammo in a home defense situation? Me for myself, if I use a shotgun for home defense, it could be a short shotgun, a shotgun with more capacity than this, because I think this would be maybe five shells in there, because it's um, we're using the long shells. The two, I don't even know how to say that, two, three quarters uh, shells, uh, three inch shells. That's what it says. That's what we're using today. But I would also put in some non-lethal ammunition just to have like that small window to give a chance for any intruder to get out of there and not me being a killer. Because let's be honest, you want to defend your stuff. You want to defend your, your uh, family, your life. That's fine and all. If something is going wrong, that intruder comes in, he's not armed, and you're the one who pulled the trigger to kill him right away, it might have bad consequences for you. Always think about the law, because the fucking law will come back to you and get you in the jail. You want to do things right, maybe use some rock salt, maybe use some rubber uh, balls. The non-lethal rubber balls would be fine. Have like two or three shells in there, but then after an intruder is still trying to attack you, even though you're shooting at him. I think if he's armed and he's coming for you, you have every right to pull the trigger and get some real ammunition down the range. So, but I'm not a lawyer. I, can, I cannot tell you what to do. I'm just trying to tell you, be reasonable and um, think about the consequences. So what we're doing today is kind of like the same thing. I will start off with a bird shot, followed by a buckshot, 
and then ultimately send a slug downrange. This is like the ultimate overkill. A slug has like a lot of energy and it will stop a target definitely. So we're trying out what we can. But also we will show you the differences in the holes. So you might think a bird shot is a good thing, maybe on close range. I think at 25 and 50 yards, a bird shot will not be that effective. Only put a whole lot of fucking small holes in your wall. So you better be precise, more precise with a load of buckshot. And the most precise thing I think is gonna be the slug. So I will try to hit special targets um, just to show you if the slug hits where we want. Okay, let's go. First things first, loading the ammo has to be reversed. So if you want to start with non-lethal, you put the non-lethal in at last. Don't do that. Uh, mistake and load the non-lethal first because they will be up here and get pulled up in the end. Let's start at 15 yards and shoot on a regular paper target with birdshot, buckshot and slug. All right, that's the ammo we're using today. That's the Skeet ammo birdshot. Small, tiny pellets, reduced felt recoil because there's not a lot of black powder in there. And then we have the Monarch high velocity lead shot, buckshot and uh, the Winchester Super X rifled slug. This one gets in first, then the buckshot, then the Skeet. Yeah, fuck, I betrayed myself by buying the wrong ammo. That's a 20 gauge. I didn't take a close look. I was just wondering why these shells are thinner. So we're not shooting buckshot today. No 20 gauge. So let's put in a slug first and then the buckshot. Oh, uh, the birdshot, I'm sorry. Okay, it's gonna be a, a shorter video than I thought. So that's gonna be the birdshot, 15 yards on the paper target. I shoot right in the middle. So now we're going for the slug. We'll have more recoil, so I'm gonna be careful shooting this. I'm gonna shoot right in the middle, the center of that target. We got two holes now, maybe you can see it from here. That's because the wad of that slug was going in there too. As you can see, from 15 yards, we already have a spread that's really, really fucking wide. And the slug was really good, so pretty much center. This is the wad that went in there. So you will not have another hole in the body, which I don't think it will have the velocity and strength to go through the flesh. 15 yards, you can be really precise. And this thing will definitely cover up the whole face. Let's try it from further back. All right, 25 yards in target. We start with the birdshot and then the slug again. And now you will see, hopefully, that the birdshot will be all over the place. And I think 25 yards is like the maximum distance for the birdshot we will do. I don't want to hit any other targets from the 50 yards. That's why we're making a cut here. I'm doing the 50 yards with the slug again. Lock. Now I'll try to shoot in the lower rectangle. Good hit. Let's go over. Yeah, slugs are definitely a little harder to shoot. You see the slug, lower rectangle. Good hit. That's the wad from that second shot. So you can see how far these parts drift from each other. That was the first shot, the wad from the first shot second shot and the watt went over here and now you can see what I meant the bird shot went all over the fucking place so at 25 yards you will definitely hit the whole body of a person and more so is it really good to use that in a home defense situation I'm not sure because you will definitely splatter all your walls in the house not so cool a slug will be really really precise and easy the buckshot on the other hand i think will have a spread of maybe this size on the 25 yards or higher i shot with buckshots before i'm sorry i can't show show it to you today 
but maybe we'll do that again. But the thing I'm, I'm going to is like, you can see that it does not make sense to use barrel shot as a home defense round. Rather take some rubber bullets, rock salt if you're really super close by, because rock salt will have the same amount of splatter effect, but also hurt in the skin, but not kill. It's up to you, I don't know, please look up the regulations about rock salt and using against people, I don't know it. Maybe it's legal for home defense, maybe it's not. We're going over to 50 yards. Okay now, this is something I'm really interested in. 50 yards, going with the slug, on the paper target, down the range. Oh, you can see it here. I'm really excited to see and find out how precise I can hit with this. I got only one shot and I try to aim for the head, the alpha section of this target. I don't think I have ever shot a shotgun on this distance. Why? There's not really a use for that. But in case that's the only home defense rifle you have, you should be able to hit something. Buckshot would be able to reach that distance. Is how far it will spread? I can't tell you. I don't know. I don't think it's a lot. Buckshot really keeps close to each other for a long time until it really spreads. But a slug is different. It's rifled and it has some more velocity and is more accurate in its way of flying. Let's go over and shoot the A section of this target. So the anticipation of the shot was high. I do not think I hit the A section because I cannot see a hole. Also really interesting to see that not even the wad was hitting the target. So I must have shot completely over it. Let's do it again and aim for the middle and see if we hit another one. Please remember wad in the upper rectangle and second wad and first shot in the middle one, second shot in the lower rectangle. All right, right in the middle of the target. I cannot see it from here. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, now that I aim for the middle section, I hit almost the A section, so let's see. This seem to prove to me one thing. The way I shot here, I hit up here. So at 50 yards, by hitting, like aiming for the A section, I went too high. So you have to get, get a lot lower by aiming to reach the wished destination of the slug. Interesting. Okay, is it really precise on 50 yards? A slug won't do the trick on 50 yards maybe. Depending on what kind of ammunition you, you use, it's still able to hit the target at least. But I, I don't think this is really a good uh, way to prove it. I mean, there's a lot of factors in that different barrel length, um, different ammunition, um, weather conditions. I mean, today weather conditions are great, so I don't think it's that. But also the way the slug would fly and on that target, uh, on that distance, it might spin longer and stabilize its flight down the range a little different. I mean, you can see a difference in how the, the hole looks compared to these two. They're more round, more cut out. And this one seems to be tumbling a little more, so it ripped more of the paper than this did or this did. More ripping, I think, is more spinning. Definitely something happening here with the slug. So I don't know about you, but I don't think on bigger distance, on farther distances, a shotgun would be a good home defense. In-house, maybe yes. But as another viewer um, already told me in the comments, depending if where you live, if it's an apartment complex, maybe not a good idea because there's many people living there. Um, there's a high chance to go through walls and hit innocent people. If you're alone on your property, there's nothing around it. Maybe a good way to defend your house 
but not on a further distance. So if you have a huge property, one or two acres, maybe you need something else to reach your attacker. So what I think, which is really easy to control, and most of people will deny that and say, hey, the pistols are harder to control. The better your practice, yeah, the more control you'll have. So nine mil down the range, 50 yards. I will try now for my pistol and we will see if that's more accurate. I'll try to hit two inner center. So let's go. My second shot, I fucked up, so let's see. I think my first shot was pretty spot on, but with the second one, I was shaking a little. And I can see where it went. Yeah, it's low left. I think both are low left, okay. Even though I missed with the second shot, um, they're still in target. Both are, they're kind of close by. It's not perfect. So hitting low left. And um, for those of you, um, I didn't film it last time. I had a huge issue with my pistol, which we found out was the sights. My iron sights are maybe broken. They're totally off. We can't fix them. And the red dot was not coexisting with the iron sights because iron sights were off. And also the red dot was off. We made the, iron, the, the red dot work again. Don't think this is really good. I'll try again from 25 yards and try to be more precise and see if my red dot is off again. Okay guys, 25 yards should be no issue. 50 yards normally is not an issue for me. Last time we shot low light and I was still able to hit all the steel targets. Which they are smaller, way smaller than a paper target, but maybe the red dot is off again. We'll find out now. Um, two alpha. I look good. 25 yards. Yeah, two alpha at 25 yards. That's pretty decent. So I don't know what happened here. Let's go back to 50 yards and try again. Okay, another two shots, 50 yards. And I'm trying to hit in the middle again. So B, Bravo section. Yeah, second shot again. I was shaking. The first shot was spot on again, I hope. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, it's better than I thought, but still with both hits. They're really close together, way different than this. So that result is way better on 50 yards. Still not here where I was aiming. So there must be something off with my red dot again. But weirdly enough, 25 yards, it looks perfect. So guys, I'm not an expert, especially not in home defense. I never had a home defense situation. I'm living in the US for four years and I'm gonna be able to use a gun for home defense for four years. Before that, in Germany, I wasn't able to do that. It's not allowed by law to use any firearm to defend your home and your life in Germany. Please don't give up your rights. Go vote, I don't know, I can't. Keep that um, right to bear arms and defend yourself. And I hope you learned something by that today. I'm just trying to learn for myself and give you what I've learned. That's the things I found out an experienced shooter might tell if I'm shooting well or not. I think I know when I'm doing um, a fuck up at my shot, if I rip too much or whatever, but I'm overall um, okay with the results today because it was telling me by going back and reproducing the same thing that something must have happened with the velocity or the, the way the ammo was flying, same with an uh, with a nine millimeter. So I hope you can tell, but just watching this video and seeing what I've did, I have to train, train more, of course. I wanna get that good, so I shoot hole in hole every time I pick up a gun. Let's empty that mag for you guys. Oh!
all over the place. See, you got one out of the target. Most are in there. Pretty low. Yeah, gotta figure out what's wrong with my red dot. Maybe get a new one, maybe get some new sights on there. Take care of your equipment. Yes, a pistol is only as good as a shooter, but if the sights don't work, you won't hit anything. Hope you like this video. See you next time at Gunny TV. Bye.